Hey everyone, it is Sparkle and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I am going to decorate my living room and dining area for the spring. So I'm using um, more vibrant colors or well, one vibrant color, but um, yeah, I'm gonna decorate for spring. Um, I'm gonna start off in the dining room so I'm just taking out some stuff that I had for Easter, just some Easter uh, decor that I had. So I'm just removing that before I add my spring decorations. And also I want to mention that everything that I'm using, I shop my home for. I have a few, just very little new purchases that I will include in my decor so if you want to see this video please keep watching so now I'm just dusting off the table back here the stand just going to dust that off and I'm just going to light, just a very light cleaning in here. Basically just going to dust and vacuum because it really doesn't need a deep cleaning. Okay, so I'm finished dusting the table. So I'm gonna add this decorative bowl. It's a really unique bowl that I found at Ross. And I'm just gonna add some faux fruit. So I have some fruit from Hobby Lobby, from Michaels. Um, a few of them are from Amazon. So I'm just gonna add those into the bowl. Um, I really love this bowl. I just think it's beautiful and very unique. So I didn't want to lay down a table runner or anything like that on the table. I wanted to keep it simple. And that's what I do uh, for the most part for my dining table. Um, I very rarely add a table runner. I just personally like um, just to keep it simple. I always just add one centerpiece so that's that's just the way I like it and being that I have a lot of black black furniture in my living room and dining area I kind of you know try to be careful when I use uh, colors you know so I try not to go crazy with the colors I just do um, a little color here and there so yeah that's what I do Okay, so for the back, um, I'm going to add this flower arrangement. Um, I made this myself about two years ago, and it turned out really beautiful. So I just have, um, I think it's like six magnolias, not magnolias, um, lilies. I'm sorry, lilies 
I have three in the front and three in the back. So yeah, that's my arrangement. And that's all I'm going to do as far as the dining table and the stand that's in the back. Um, I did want to mention that I sat the flower arrangement on a tray that I got from Ross. And I did haul that recently. So if you haven't checked out my recent hauls, you might want to check them out because I did pick up some pretty good things within the last past few weeks. So this uh, bar unit is from Amazon. I bought this last year. And when I first got it, I was really, really excited about it. I said I was going to do um, different decorate your bar uh, unit with me. I was going to do videos like that. And I ended up not doing it. Um, I haven't even bought any alcohol or anything like that to put on to the bar unit but I'm definitely going to do it uh, this year I, I keep saying that but I'm going to do it but for the main part um, yeah I haven't decorated it like that um, I haven't done nothing with it really it's been um, a catch-all you know certain things that I'm not using I'll just store on this unit but I said that I was going to do you know just do a little more with it but it is really nice um i will link it in the description box um it does come in a gray color which is really really beautiful and it also comes in white and you can see the color i have is black so i just wanted to put that out there because i need to start uh doing more with this bar unit
So for the kitchen, this is the color that I'm doing for the spring. And also this is the color that I'm going to do in the living room. So this is a mustard yellow uh, color. And I'm just adding the towel uh, to the stove. Yeah, just going to put it over like that. And I'm going to add another towel to my sink area. Um, this is what I'll be using to dry my dishes. Now you see the wreath over there, um, over top of the fridge. That's my Easter wreath. So I'm going to keep that up. I'm not going to remove it. But I did forget to take down that kitchen um, plaque thing that's above my cabinets. I forgot to take that down. So um, over here in the living room, I'm taking down my Easter wreath and I'm gonna put up this canvas that I got from Family Dollar. Yes, Family Dollar. Um, it's 20 by 20 and it was only $10. So it's a really nice picture. So I wanted to do something different. Um, I'm loving the canvas. I like the um, the print that's on there, the zebra print, the animal print. I thought that was really, really cute. So I wanted to hang that up in my living room because I'm going to do something a little different. So to go with the canvas that I just hung up, um, I bought these pillow covers. These are from Amazon. I thought they would be perfect. So I purchased two of them. They are lumbar pillows. They have the invisible zipper and they're made really good. Good quality. Um, the fabric is like a velvet. It's really soft, really beautiful. The size of them are 12 by 20. So I'm going to put my inserts in here just like that. But that, I thought that would go perfect with the picture. Not too much, but just, you know, I think that the pillows, by me getting the pillows, it brought the picture out. I really think that it brought the picture out. So that's why I didn't get more. I just said I only needed two, and that's all I'm going to use. And I will link these in the description box and any other links that I have will be in the description box. So I just ask y'all to check out the description box. But these pillow covers, in my opinion, are a must have. Um, I believe they also had like a cheetah, uh, a cheetah pattern. I think so, but I think it was like in a different color. Um, I just thought those were really uh, really nice as well you know even if you just get two you know you don't have to purchase a whole bunch but um, I think two will be enough because the pillow the pattern itself is you know is a lot and um, it's definitely a statement so you know I just didn't want to use too many but this is how it looks now for my color, because I'm gonna add, like I said, I'm gonna add a little color in here. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a pillow, another lumbar pillow. Um, it's just gonna be a little bit bigger, but I'm gonna place it in the back of the zebra pillow. And I think this um, yellow pillow is from Bell's Outlet. I think that's where I purchased it. So yeah, I just put it in the back and that's gonna be it.
So I'm gonna put the tray back on the table. This mirror tray is from Burlington. It was 12, was it Burlington? Yeah, it was Burlington. It was $12.99, almost forgot. But um, so I'm just gonna keep that on there. And I have this flower arrangement. This came from Home Goods. So I've had it packed away, um, it got bent. It, it just been through a lot, but um, I'm gonna use it. So it's very, very pretty. So that's what I'm gonna put inside the tray. That's gonna be my centerpiece. I'm not gonna add anything else. And for the end tables, I have this vase. Um, I did buy two of them. They are from Burlington. So I'm just gonna put those on my end table. I put my own florals in there just to give it a little something. You know, I thought it was cute. And I'm gonna put the other one on the other end table. But these vases were $9.99 each at Burlington, a really good price. So for the floor vase, um, I bought this years, it's been a couple years ago from Home Goods. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some magnolias in here. These magnolias are from Hobby Lobby. They are really long, really long and they're beautiful. But I thought I would, um, yeah, put them in this vase. So I had to add some floral foam just a little piece just to keep the florals in place. You know, I cut the floral foam and just put it at the top and I just put the magnolias on the sides of the floral foam. I didn't put it, um, I didn't stick the stems through the foam, but I just put them on the sides so that way, you know, it will hold it. Um, I didn't want to put them inside the foam because the branches on here are really thick and I didn't want the foam to split in half. So I'm adding four, I'm gonna add four. And then I have um, some floral stems. This right here is some mustard yellow, gold color. This came from Burlington. Um, I also got it in the color white. So they're really, really beautiful. Um, I don't remember the price of them, but they're really gorgeous. For my counter, I'm just gonna add two placemats. Uh, these came from Pier One. I bought these years ago. It's been a long time, so I'm just gonna add two of those. I think at the time that I bought it, um, I think I bought six. I bought six, but they're, they're really pretty. Um, I mean, just gorgeous. They're the ivory color. They have a little black, a little gray in there. So I just added um, a candle. Uh, this candle is from Dollar General because Dollar General has good candles for like seven, eight dollars if y'all wanna check out Dollar General, but they have some beautiful candles. Mm -hmm. 